It serves him right. So, yeah. Oh my god. Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be reacting to Harry Potter TikTok videos. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> Alright, so I have my phone here and I'm going to open up some of the ones that I have saved. So I went through TikTok and anytime I would see something that would look a little Harry Potter, sound Harry Potter, I would just go ahead and save it. That way I didn't watch the whole thing and I can react to it with you guys. So let's go through some of those saved ones. And then after we go through the saved ones, I might even jump onto TikTok itself and search some Harry Potter words and see what comes up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and actually, before we get into it, I want to mention that I did dye my hair. I went full on redhead, ginger, whatever you want to call it. It's a nice strawberry auburny color. I am really happy with it. So yes, I did color my hair. If you're like, oh, it looks a little different, but if you're new, this just might be what you thought I looked like. So, <laughs> so yes, I just wanted to mention that. I did color my hair. I hope you guys like it. But let's go ahead and get into some TikToks. And the only thing with watching some of these Harry Potter TikToks, some of them I'm going to have to watch without the sound just because I don't want to get copyrighted and lose my entire audio on my video. So I will just mute some of them. Some of them we can listen to. We'll just have to see how that goes. So I have all these saved ones on my phone here. All right, so I popped over here so I can pop the videos on this side of the screen here. All right, let's go ahead into this first one here. Hey everybody, it's me, Ron. I literally just left Hermione and Harry because they're being fucking assholes. Voldemort wants Harry, he can fucking take Harry. How do I apparate out of here? I literally forget. Hermione always helps me. I'm just gonna go to the sea cottage. Weasleys are not made for this shit. I can't even track this live. I don't even fucking care. They're in there somewhere. I'm feeling really evil, though. I don't think I said anything. Bye, Harry. Bye, Hermione. <laughs> that was great. So that's... <laughs> So it's definitely Ron and how he reacted when he left Harry and Hermione in the Deathly Hallows. So that was spot on. I love that. <laughs> right, this one, we're not going to listen to it with audio. But it says, which one would you wear? <gasps> Potter. Diggory. Weasley. Malfoy. Lovegood. Granger. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I'm going to have to check out her shop. Da -da -da -da! That one was really good. I don't know how they edited that so well to make it look like they went together. Like if you didn't know either movie, you'd be like, oh, that's weird. All right, next. <laughs> I love these laughing ones. Wrong. <laughs> that worked too perfect. I've heard that audio on a bunch of different videos, but never with this one. That's great. <laughs> What's the biggest lie that your parents ever told you? When I was a kid and I first like watched and saw the Harry Potter, I asked my parents if Hogwarts was a real place and they said yes. And when you're 11, you will get to know if you get odd in or not. And on my 11th birthday, I got a letter from Hogwarts that I'm pretty sure my parents wrote saying that I had gotten in to Hogwarts. No. Then my parents honestly let me buy an owl. And then this can't be real. Later, they said, oh, right, sorry, we were kidding about the whole wizard thing. So then I was just stuck with Buckley the owl. That <laughs> can't be real. <laughs> real. Oh, that's funny, that. though. POV, your yeah? Harry Potter well, tell and your first Dumbledore? day Hogwarts. The house me off, dog. Frats. God. That's good, bro. What's your name? Harry? Bro, I think I've heard of you. You're the kid with the fucking scar, right? Duh. Are you rushing this year? Yeah, yeah. Dude, check out Granger. She got a book. Don't be on her, dog. <laughs> What's that? Uh, that's your friend? Oh, yeah, your turf, your turf. Where, where, where? Oh, the worst. Gryffindor. You got a take? Huh? Bro, chill. I'm playing. Damn. <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah, I got a quick match right there, actually. Do too. No big deal. But, uh, we're actually looking for the Seeker, so. 
if you're interested, get plenty of bad witches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, mud is good. Anyway, stay away from the Whomping Willow, and uh, you'll be hearing from us. Catch ya. <laughs> okay, that's the worst, but it was pretty good. <laughs> Alright, next one is a cake. Mmm, chocolate cake. So good, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Alright, what do we think she's making? I don't know. <laughs> Frosting, I think, or I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, like some filler, I guess? I don't know. <gasps> this is the sorting hat. It has to be, I mean, unless it's like the Grinch's mountain, but this is Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, so she can get the like face, I guess? Yeah, that's totally the base of the eyes. Oh. She puts that on top. Cool. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, and she has fun stuff inside. How fun, I love that. Right, next I'm gonna down Hogwarts House Edition, but I'm not gonna tell you what house it is until Put the end of the Put a finger down. Put a finger back. down if your favorite holiday is Halloween. Put a finger down if you Christmas. avoid opening up to others because you don't want to make it seem like you're struggling, even if you are. Put a finger down if you're not afraid to call out the people who have wronged you or others. Put a finger down if you're the designated essay editor. Put a finger down if your favorite no. item of jewelry is a ring. Put a finger down if you're yeah, very self-reliant at a young like age. Ring. Put a finger down if you have a very cynical view on love and don't think true love is real, maybe because of your parents. Put no. a finger down if you commonly daydream about your future to escape the present. Put a finger down if you have a slight monster energy drink obsession. Put Ew. a finger down if you have perfectionist tendencies that make you really critical of your own passions. Put a finger down if you typically wear eyeliner or some kind of eye makeup. Put a finger down I if you like mascara. being in control of the situation I and shall. like knowing what's happening at all times. Put a finger down if you use sarcasm as a coping mechanism. If you have four or more fingers down, you are a Slytherin Two. or you rate it Slytherin. Oh, Slytherin. Duh. No. Sorry, I'm not a Slytherin, I guess. <laughs> I got bitches off the same. Bitch, I got. <gasps> oh my god. I was not expecting that. That was so sad. I feel bad for laughing in the beginning. That was sad. <laughs> oh my god. All right, the next one I have to keep the audio off. It's just music. Ugh, this aesthetic. That cup. Where did she get that? I need that. <gasps> That's so cool. I love that. That is so beautiful. Oh, love the aesthetic. All right, let's see what this next one is. We went to visit Dobby's grave. I want to go here. Who are you? That's so cool. I would definitely love to go there and like check it out one day. That would be really cool. Hi, I'm Bella Tricks. Um, <laughs> Just like from that video to this one. Like. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name's Draco. Um, and I think Luna Lovegood's gonna be the most drunk. She's already pissed. Hi, my name is Neville Longbottom. Um, and I'm going to think uh, Moni Murph is going to be the most drunk um, because she's already dancing on chairs. Hmm. So. Hi, Here's I'm Dobby, she looks like. and I think Dobby. that Moni Murph is going to get the most drunk tonight. Hi, my name's Snape, and I think Luna Lovegood is going to be the drunkest tonight. Go on, Luna. Hello, my name is Moni Murph. And I think that probably myself is going to get the most drunk. Or Luna Lovegood. Hmm. <gasps> my name is Voldemort. And I think Luna will get the commitment. Drunk Hi, my name is Luna. Yes, and I think I'm going to be the drunkest one. <laughs> I need a group of friends that will do that with me. <laughs> Too fun. Right, the next one. Wait. Oh my oh. God. Um, He's like, but how? <laughs> so you want to see even more actors turning into other actors? Harry Potter edition part two. He's covered in blood again. Riser is always covered in blood. Now I'm going to keep the exact same placement in my voice, but all I'm going to do is lose Jenny's monotone and jazz it up. Bring the musicality back and I'm ready 
anesthesia. I write for the daily profit. I'm gonna keep the same placement with my voice that I've just been changed. Kinda of sounds like love heart. And to have French accent and push out so it's more breathy and to have fear. That's good. You saved her even though she was not yours to save. My little sister. And now I'm going to get rid of the French accent and go back to a British accent. It goes slightly higher. And I'm gonna be tight in my throat like this. Amazing! Just with my voice! Amazing! Now that I'm up here, if I just push it out, you boys, your grandmother quite well. Oh, you wouldn't be so shared as She's good. And now I'm Professor Trelawney. You have the rim. Oh, <laughs> I love that. She's good. All right, let's see what the next one is. Slytherin uniform throughout the 20th century. Interesting. Love some Slytherin vibes. Ooh, 1900s. So cute. Oh, 1910. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. She's good. 1920s. I love this one. Oh, so cute. Love the hair. Oh, and the hat of 30s. 40s. Super cute. Oh, 50s. Perfect with that skirt. Totally nailed it. 60s, that's adorable. This little plant. 70s, a jumpsuit. Super cute scarf on the neck. 80s, kind of grandma ish for me, but still cute. Still doing a good job. 90s, you know what we see. <laughs> that was perfect. I love that. All right, well, next one. Hi. Wait, what? <laughs> chom chom chom. Please! Oh, Ronald Weasley! You shot her! Please! Did you say hey? What the F am I supposed to say? I don't know. They were so scared of her. I love that scene. Next one! Did you push your name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry? Dumbledore in the books yeah, versus. Him in the movies. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they did that in the movies. I feel like so many people have talked about that. How he is like so angry in the movies. And how in the books he just calmly says it. So, it's funny. <laughs> Alright, next one. A is for... B is for... Dabbling, fumbling band of baboons. C is for... Complete... D is for diagonally. E is for F is for beat off the table. Beat off the table. G is for Come on, girl. H is for Hi. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> um, ciao. Anyway, so. Another one. Did you put your name in the gold out of fire? No, sir. You ask one of the old students to do it for you? No, sir. You're absolutely sure? Yes, yes, sir. Well, of course he is lying. To hell he is! The gold out of fire is an exceptionally powerful magical object. Only an exceptionally powerful Confundus charm <laughs> could have hoodwinked it. Magic way beyond the talents of our fourth year. You seem to have given this a fair bit of thought, Medi. Once my job thinks Beard as a mask. Of, perhaps you remember. Stop and help, Alistair. Are absolute. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. He is, as of tonight, a tri wizard champion. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, these next ones are hilarious and they do like a whole series. I've only seen a couple, but let's go ahead with this first one because it's so freaking funny. Do the roar. Snakes don't roar. Do it. Do the roar for my son. <laughs> He's asleep. And your parents are dead. Sorry about him. He's a dick. And I'm a snake. Can you hear me? A slithery little snake. I've never talked to a snake before. <laughs> snake friends, yes. Yeah, snake friends. Ah! 
to the roar. Abuse. I love you, Daddy. Ow. That's my snake friend. <gasps> Was that you? You little snake. Well, I guess you're free now. Thank you. Mama! <laughs> no food for a week. I guess you're going to eat it. That was good. That was so funny. I love the like, fossil tongue that they do. like the, So you know that they're talking snake. <laughs> So funny, she's great. All right, let's see. I think I have another one saved by her. Uh, oh, I've got presents. It's like stealing candy from. Oh, oh, Harry, you're awake. Thought you were a little fighter. I didn't expect you to be up for at least a couple hours. I 100% wasn't coming here to eat your sweets. Oh my god! That was Ron, 100%. I saw him. What's it all for? He killed a guy, Harry, and I know I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but... Then I accidentally told everyone. Oh my god, you won't believe it. Harry killed a guy. Oh, Harry, can we talk about how you're a natural? Just scrambled him, so there's not even a body for people to ask questions about. You little professional, can't wait for our future quests. You mean that wasn't a one-off? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> this one was non-compulsory, though. If you'd have just stayed in bed, Cruel wouldn't have been able to get the stone. Me and Minerva were waiting on the third floor corridor with a sack. We were going to throw it over him and say, Not in my school! So thank you for ruining that plan for me. Anyway, killer, I've got a bounce. Glad you're cool. Okay, fine, it was me! Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Don't tell Minerva. Those are so funny. I just love those parodies. They're so funny. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the next one is. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> Hillary, your cousin Will is here. Hi. Dad, I need $300. That's a lot of money, Hillary. What for? <sighs> Why does this work so well with the Fresh Friends? <laughs> for what? Probably her head. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That worked so well with Hillary from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I've got another parody. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what am I gonna tell him my name is? Gary Spotter, Barry Trotter, Larry Hotter, Larry Hotter, yeah! What was that noise? Um, I'm not sure. Hey, Hazza! You alright? It's me! It's Dumbledore! Oh god. I oh, don't mind that, that's um just my granddad. He likes to wear his dressing gown in public. Okay. Just give me a sec. Dumbledore, what are you doing? That hot girl was talking to me. Not gonna lie, Harry. I'm putting it on block. Because what about you and Miss Granger? What? Me and Hermione are just friends. Incorrect. I ship it. Plus, if she ends up with Ron, then I owe Minerva 80 galleons. You've been betting on our love lives. Sorry, it's not like much else is going on at Hogwarts. People die all the time. Well, that's negative. You know, I had a man once. Not sure I care. He knew how to treat me. Promised me the world. Good for you. Not really. Turns out he meant it. Was going to kill everyone so we could run it together. God, I miss him. Are we going somewhere? That was good. Love, love, love those. I made it through all the ones I had saved. So let's go pop on to TikTok and see if we can find any good ones. All right, now I'm on TikTok and let's go ahead and search. We'll just put in Harry Potter. Let's see what comes up. No one's gonna tell me that this is the only Harry Potter movie with the post credit scene. What? Okay, I gotta see this for myself. Wait. There's no one gonna tell me that this is the only Harry Potter movie with the post credit scene. What? Okay, I gotta see this for myself. Wait, wait a minute, what? You can't honestly tell me that I've seen this movie a million times and I've never seen the ending scene. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wait, what? Okay, I gotta see this for myself. Wait, wait a minute, what? You can't honestly tell me that I've seen this movie a million times and I've never seen the ending scene. Zoom, 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 zoom. Still fast forwarding. Okay, we're in the credits now. I don't remember. Fast forwarding in the credits. This scene is so cool. If you're someone who's only watched the movies and you haven't read the books, you're about to learn something that you didn't know before. All from this one ending scene. And it is canon that's still lining up with the books. Oh, yes. I have seen this. I forgot about this. Because he goes to St. Mungo's. Okay, okay, I ran out of but yeah, so he goes to St. Mungo's because he goes loopy and he never really gets his memory back because that's when he does to other people. Scene, and you just pause serves him right. Just. So yeah. Alright, this next one I'm going to watch without sound. It is a Starbucks Harry Potter drink imitation butterbeer. 
milk in the blender. Don't know what that is, caramel, <laughs> butterscotch, toffee flavoring, ice, frappuccino, blend, caramel, drizzle, whipped cream at the bottom. Is that cinnamon? I missed it. <laughs> I'm guessing. I wonder why they put the whipped cream on the bottom. It doesn't look like that for regular butter beer, but interesting. And caramel sauce. Probably be super sweet, but looks like it would taste like butter beer. All right, I'm gonna just do one more Harry Potter TikTok reaction. So let's see what I swipe and see next. <laughs> Oh, it's close. I've never seen this before. It's close. Oh, it's close. That was a good one to end on. All right, that wraps up today's reaction to some Harry Potter TikToks. If you want to see me do a part two, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see me recreate some Harry Potter TikToks, let me know that as well. And if you like today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!